We're back now at 838 with the perfect blend of classical instruments and the flair of rock and roll. And it's giving kids across the country a whole new appreciation for music. Here's today national correspondent Amy Robach. Brian Martin's been hitting the strings before school and after. A violinist since the fourth grade, this classical kid is about to get a rock and roll makeover. I saw Mark Wood with a group of high school students a few years back, I'd say about seven years ago. And when I saw it, we were at a convention. My husband just looked at me and said, you're doing this, aren't you? And I said, oh, yes, let me get this number down. Maria Palacios runs the music department at Cincinnati's Oak Hills High School. Looking for new ways to get her orchestra students plugged into their music, she hired Electrify Your Strings. We're dropping the atom bomb tomorrow night, and I want you to project like a blowtorch. Working with the students for two days, Mark, wife Laura Kay, and son Elijah provide an intensive seminar in rock edge performance. It changes their ability to perform and connect in a deep way with music. And it's really about not just playing the notes, not just getting through your practice schedule, but really thinking about what you're trying to say in that music. How did things change when Mark came into the picture? <sighs> But the songs, the songs are crazy, they're really good. Did you know the violin could sound like that? No, definitely not. <laughs> awesome, guys. You guys now are on a level three of ten. We must reach ten. Left, right. For students tuned into hitting precise notes, wood seminars encourage the kids towards self-expression. No easy task in the adolescent world. Do your kids become different musicians? They absolutely How do. are they changed from before and after? The level of confidence that they get. We were born, born to be wild. Give me everything you got. Born to be wild. What's it like working with your two parents like this? I mean, it's very interesting. Do you new, new with your bows? Do well, no, right? they're, no, they're not doing no, the bows. No, they're not doing that. No, not, but they're screaming. Yes. Laura Kay and Mark Woods have a hardcore musical pedigree. They've worked with an A-list band of artists, including Lenny Kravitz, Billy Joel, and the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. But their return to the high school stage is a vital gig in their touring life. Excellent. We need to inspire more artists, musicians, business people to come into schools and inspire kids of the next generation so that we really are participating and being responsible to, I think, the best investment that we have is in our future is these kids. As any performer knows, the hours of practice pay off in front of a live audience. And here at Oak Hills, more than 500 people have lined up to get a charge out of their electrified high school orchestra. Who wants to rock and roll? Yeah! Are you nervous about tonight? <laughs> Just a little bit. I think it's a once in a lifetime memory for them. I don't think they'll ever forget that they played in a rock concert with these rock stars. I think it just is going to be enriching for them forever. It was awesome. It was a great experience. For today, Amy Robach in Cincinnati.